usually I was like in Ireland I'd fish in Dublin but like downtown Dublin where most people wouldn't for pike so I'd fish kind of like kind of like here but like right in front of the stadiums and people would be like ah oh, sure there's nothing in there what you doing you're wasting your time and the biggest pike I've caught had been like right in front of the stadiums yeah same here people make fun of us all the time Hi, I'm Buckets. Hi, I'm Alex. We're the Buffalo Bayou Fishing Champs. Today we're chasing Gar. Here, take it, take it, Rich. Go ahead. There's gonna be plenty more. Come on, take it. <laughs> this is awesome. Is a cat? I don't think it's a cat no more. <laughs> Go get me a lasso. This is nuts. <laughs> it's getting tired. That's a cat fish, and it's gonna be a cat. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> I'm not gonna, no, I don't want to. He's not big enough to get in. I'm just gonna have to lift him up out of the water. He's slimy and he's gonna, he's gonna fight, okay? So we just, we just got ourselves a little teenage alligator gar. How much, how heavy do you think he is? 30 pounds? 30? Maybe. 30 pounds? Now, think about how the, how the 150 pounds is. How are you gonna pull those out of the water? <laughs> I don't think I would've been able to. Insane. Like he's actually hard to hold. But no, like heavy. <laughs> he's like a bag of cement. Should start getting the back in. All right, yeah. You know what I thought about? Like I thought their teeth would be the thing that scared me the most. Uh huh. Is this everything you're hoping for, Moose? Yeah, and more. <laughs> we hit the jackpot. Jesus, Any bigger than this would just be like overkill. <laughs> okay. Garbage truck mixed with a pipe. <laughs> okay, I don't want to lose your lasso though. Oh, there you go. Keep going. Oh, you're free. Oh. Round two with bucket. After like feeling that arm. Consider this was probably in the water. Yeah, take it, take it, that mono is only 60 pounds. I'm telling you, don't force me. No, I don't want to. So while we were getting ready to go, we heard some wrestling and a splash. Turns out, Bucket's here. He forgot about a forgot about a rod he had out, and the oh, rod went into the, the water. 
So I, I tied a treble hook onto one of my other rods and I casted it out and by luck, I caught, I caught the line that was out in the water. I pulled in that rod and reel and this boy happened to be on the other end of it. On a circle hook too, uh, mind you. Ooh, that was perfect. Like, I almost, I almost want to get this just to feel what it's like. No, you don't. Look at his eye.